once upon a time. No, no, that's not the way to start. You'll think this is a fairy tale, and it isn't. It has elements of a fairy tale. Dragons, elves, griffins, fairies, and so on. And it has magic. Now, in my day, magic was much more commonplace. Oh, well, all things change. The arrow of time points in one direction only. So, where should I begin? Ah! Well, it's obvious I should start at the beginning. With the terrible years of darkness. King Constant was the first Christian king of England. The traitors! Let the whole world die! If I die, Vortigan is here! Traitors! Vortigan! He's had all the prisoners slaughtered! Got it! I curse you all! Death came so easily then, and one tyrant smoothly passed the crown to another, even worse. Civil war tore the country apart. Then the Saxons came. Christian churches were destroyed and defiled. So were the sacred places of the old pagan religion. The followers of the old ways cried out in their agony. There was only one being who could save them, and she would come out of the land of magic. Where on our own, we'd better get started. 
Well, don't you think you should at least wait a couple of days to build up your strength? No time. Our world is dying. While you're making gestures, save the mother. She's dying. No, she's not. She's dead. Sleep easy, child. The angels fly thee home. What's your excuse? Why didn't you save her? She'd served her purpose. Served her purpose? You are so cold. If I were to punch you in the heart, I'd break my fist. And I think I used to serve you in the old ways. <sighs> then you changed. You became a Christian. Who told you that? Hmm? Uh -uh. That. Uh -uh. Snooping, smiling, blatherskite. I follow my own heart. That's religion enough for me. Why do you allow her to talk to you like that, madam? Because she needs me, idiot. Why do I need you, Ambrosia? Uh. To take care of this child. I can take care of him. <laughs> You need more than tricks to bring up a child. You need patience, understanding, love. Most of all, you need love. You used to have that once. No more. So, what have you decided? The child stays with you. But remember, he is only half human. He belongs to me. He's my son. I will send for him when the time is right. Ambrosia was like a tiger protecting me. Get out of there! And stay out! She was the bravest, kindest person I ever knew. I called her Auntie A. But she was really a mother to me. Have you noticed when you're miserable, time seems to slow to a crawl? On the other hand, when you're happy, my childhood must have been very, very happy, for it was over in a flash. <laughs> Please 
please excuse their rudeness. We're traveling to Lord Lambert's castle and we lost our way. It's about a mile. Take the right fork, but don't try any shortcuts. It's dangerous and you can get lost. Thank you, sir. What can we offer you as a reward? A kiss. Do you know who you're talking to? This is the Lady Nimue, Lord Ardente's daughter. She asked me what I wanted, and I told the truth. <laughs> and I think it's a fair price. forget you, Nimoy. We'll meet again. I can see it. I don't think so, Master Merlin. Nimoy. Come on, this way. I'd warned Nimoy not to leave the path, but she was very headstrong even then. Well, I suppose all young people are. She went off on her own. meet again. How did you do that? With a branch? I don't know. Well, whatever it was, you saved my life. You deserve another kiss. The most beautiful girl in the world, the only girl I'll ever love, I know it. And she loves me and we love each other always and... What are you babbling about? Get your dripping wet, take your clothes off. I'm a hero too. I saved her. Oh, yes. Now you saved who? From what? Hmm? Oh, Nimway. Nimway, she's the daughter of some lord. She fell into a mud hole and I saved her. That's very brave of you, my dear. Well, the extraordinary thing was how I saved her. I had this branch and somehow I made it grow. Well, I know it sounds impossible, but I said, grow, grow, and it just grew. What's the matter, Auntie, eh? I, I need to sit down. Tell me what's the matter. Hmm. It's the moment I've been dreading all these years. It's time for you to leave. Leave? I don't understand. You were created by Queen Mab. You have no mortal father. There's magic at work here. And now she wants you to join her. I won't. 
You have no choice, my dear. You can't fight it. Not yet. He's talking to me. He says I have to go with him. This will keep you warm. On cold nights. No, no, no. Keep your chin up. Magic has no power over the human heart. I love you, Auntie. Mm -hmm. And you can tell her royal high and mighty Queen Mab that magic or no magic, if she harms you in any way, I'll have her guts for my bootlaces. felt all this was the most natural thing in the world. I suppose I'm to get into the boat. feeling inside was growing stronger and stronger. I was coming home. Oh. Sorry I'm late. Ship left without me. Dreadfully moon, really. Well, coming aboard. Who are you? Shh! I can't concentrate. These are treacherous waters. Strong currents. Unseen rocks.
what if I don't want to be a wizard? It's your destiny. Remember that branch? And how you made it grow? That's why you're here. To learn. Oh, Merlin. Merlin. You'll soon know the power that is in you. And when it is unleashed, you will hold this world in the hollow of your hand. All the magic of the universe and all the spells you will ever need are in these books, Merlin. If I'm half mortal, will I die? In the fullness of time. We cannot change that, but we can change form. Mm. But it is only an illusion, particularly in his case. Sometimes we can see into the future. This is you. As you will be. Will I grow that old? Have a care, young Merlin. Sorry, sir. Well, <laughs> but you're right. Try and stay as young inside as you are now. That's another thing to watch out for, young Merlin. Don't start giving advice. <laughs> Frick, it's your turn. Now, Master Merlin, there are three classes of magic. Three stages of progression to full wizard status. <laughs> the first and lowest stage is wizard by incantation. Abracadabra de Venchot. The second stage wizards are hand wizards whose magic is performed by gestures of the hands and fingers. The third and highest stage of wizardry, the supreme exponents are wizards of pure thought, who need no words nor gestures, but by their will alone, pierce the heavens. <laughs> of course, only the most supremely Gifted personages become wizards of the third stage. No, oh, get on with it. Yes, madam. <clears throat> Any questions? <sighs> I studied day and night and learned of those unseen forces that hold this world together. Learned the secret ways of other worlds that exist beneath the surface and behind the mirrors. Now you try it. Mm, must I? Yes! Right hand, sir, right hand. Now, Master Merlin, put it out. Left hand, concentrate. <laughs> That happened because you didn't concentrate. Well, how is he doing? Did you read my report, madam? Yes, yes, but I want your personal impressions. Well, I mean, I rather think he's got the ability. He could indeed be the greatest. But he never will be. He can't get past being a hand wizard. He doesn't want to do it. In his heart, he doesn't like magic. He doesn't like it. Well, I, I, I know it sounds shocking, but I mean, that's the way it is, isn't it? Well, we've got to make him like it. I have work for him to do. The, the truth is, he wants to go home.
Why did you call me, Merlin? I didn't. You did. Who are you? The Lady of the Lake. How are you getting on with my sister, Mab? We two don't get on. Why? I don't approve of what she's been doing. Creating you and letting your mother die like that. She let my mother die? Oh, dear. I shouldn't have told you, but it just slipped out. I'm going home. You should. Your auntie Ambrosia is very ill. Oh, Master Merlin! Where is he? He's on his way home to that fight by tongue the witch Ambrosia. How can he get across the lake? My dear sister. Oh. If I may say so, madam, it really would help matters if you two could agree to... Well, I want your advice, I'll ask for it, Frick. As you wish, madam. What are you going to do? I'm not going to lose him. <laughs> Where is he? So, here you are again. Still a chip off the old iceberg, I see. Oh, please! Don't bother to knock. Where's Merlin? You've lost him, haven't you? Well, I must say it's typical. You've been sliding down the ladder of success so quickly these last few years. You must have got splinters in your backside. Mm. Don't provoke me, Ambrosia. I'm in no mood for your jibes. Well, I'm anxious about him too. You should have taken better care of him. <laughs> He'll be here. He's heard you're ill. I'm not ill. I'm dying. When he comes, you must send him back. Oh, can't you make him come back? It's better that you tell him his place is with me. No, I won't do that. Do you defy me? Of course I defy you. I've always defied you. Why? It's my nature. When my boy comes here, I'll say not one word. He'll do what's in his heart. Mistress of magic. <laughs> Auntie A! Auntie A! You killed my real mother. No, I only let her die. You have the power to strike me. Watch my power grow. Fighting to save my people from extinction. 
I don't care if you die and disappear. I will, unless I fight and win. I'll never help you. You will. I'll make you. I swear, on Ambrosia's grave, and the grave of my mother, I'll only ever use my powers to defeat Queen Mab. On this I swear. And thus I set my course. I knew Mab had hurt me, but right from the start, she believed she could make me break my oath. After all, part of her was in me. So she waited patiently in the shadows for the time when she could strike and make me see the error of my ways. So the world turned and turned again. The rain fell on the just and unjust alike. Men and women were cut down like wheat to be born again strong. Mab had to wait years, but it didn't matter. Those years passed as if in seconds. And then she found a way of making me break my oath. All the way! It's a fine position for a new castle, don't you think? Lord Ardente. It will be impregnable, Your Majesty. No army can take it. Not even Uther's. My Lord Uther is in Normandy, sire. My spies tell me he's raising an army and getting ready to sail for England. <clears throat> he wants to kill me. I don't blame him. I killed his father, King Constant. King Constant was a tyrant. <laughs> Not unlike myself. Yes, sir. No, no, sir. <laughs> no, no. You don't sound very convincing, my lord. What I'm interested in is, in case we'd have to fight, whose side would you be on, his or mine? I have always been loyal to your majesty. I've pledged my entire army to you. True, up till now. Trouble is, I don't trust anyone. I want guarantees. You have my word, sire. It's not good enough. I'm keeping your daughter Nimue, just to be sure. Guards! This is outrageous, sire. I'm sorry. King Vortigan, whatever you do to me, my father will do what he's right. Of course he will. If you stay loyal to me, she'll be safe. But if you betray me, I will kill her myself. Father! Father! How does it go? In progress. <laughs> Fine, sire. Fine. The linnets on the west side need bolstering. Fight for your Roughly, what happened? I don't know, sire. Guards! Fire! Take him away! It shouldn't have done that. It's the linnets. I'm sure it's the linnets. Get me a different architect! Hey, you! You! <laughs> Why won't it stand? I'm a soothsayer, Your Majesty, not an architect. If you are a soothsayer, you should know. Tell me why it is that every time I try to rebuild the tower, it collapses. Ah, well, uh, <clears throat> yes, indeed, yes. Um, mm, 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 you think I should know that, sir? Yes. Yes, yes. Well, I'll, I'll read the stones. Then read them. Oh, I will, sir. I will. That's something I do very well, sir. Very well. 
Why is it that I surround myself with a bunch of incompetent fools? I've been a worshipper of the old ways all my life. Now, that light is in danger. And it's a precious life. It's mine. I've never had any real help. No, not never. Oh, um, what am I going to do? I've no idea why his tower keeps falling down. The land is cursed. You've appeared. You've appeared after all these years. It is. It is Queen Mab. Yes, old man. Oh, Majesty. The land is cursed. Neither tower nor castle will stand. So, um, what do we do? You must find a man who has no mortal father and mix his blood with the mortar. Ooh. <laughs> Splendid. But, um, a man who has no mortal father. Uh, where can I find a man like that? I will show you. Seize, Batman! Welcome to my home, sir. <laughs> What can I do for you? I'm the king's soothsayer. An important position. <gasps> and a fragile one. I'm the third royal soothsayer this year. Vortigan gets through them at an alarming rate. He gets through everything at an alarming rate. <clears throat> It seems to be holding. It will hold this time, Your Majesty. Never fear. Never have. Good, good. The foundations are as solid as... I found him. The man without a mortal father. This better not be one of your tricks. No, 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 sir. It's all true. Well, there's only one way to find out. Get a bowl. Cut his throat. Oh. Do it now. What's the matter with you? He's a wizard. He doesn't look like much of a wizard to me. I never did anything to you. Why do you want to cut my throat? It's nothing personal. I have to mix your blood with the mortar for the castle. This old fool tells me it's the only way to make the building stand. It's easy to die, knowing you'll die for your country. I may first offer some advice. Your Majesty's in danger of seeming a little stupid. <laughs> what did you call me? Stupid. <laughs> this man thinks he's me. Why would you call me stupid? Because it's obvious why you can't build a castle there. Look. I'm looking. I don't see anything. Can't you see the stream? It runs into a great cavern below. The water's there, I swear. I can see it. We can all... You wanted to build my castle on water. That's not all that's wrong. You work on the dragons. Dragons? What dragons? I see two dragons. One red, one white. My crest is a white dragon. It's an omen, wouldn't you say, sir? What else did you see? The red dragon conquered the white. It's an omen, wouldn't you say, sire? 
Suther has landed from Normandy with a great army. He's marching on Winchester. You foresaw all this. I see things unknown. Gather my armies. We march on Winchester. I've been fighting my enemies for 15 years. Every time I crush one, another one takes his place. Will it ever end? Perhaps you need me to foretell the future, then you could crush them all before they get a chance to cause trouble. Uh, of course, then you wouldn't be able to cut my throat. You're an extraordinary man. I can't have extraordinary men running around. You're not quick enough. That's a mistake many of my enemies make. They think before they act. I act before I think. That's my advantage. And you, you're out of a job. Oh, yes, sir. Tie the wizard. Come on, quick, before he changes his mind. Sweet of you to inquire. You're in serious trouble this time, Master Merlin. How do they ever make a vulgarian like Vortigern king? You mortals have no sense of the fitness of things. Quite appalling. Mm. Anyway, I'm here with a message from Mab. Naturally. She's going to punish you. She hates me. No, but she's rather disappointed that you refuse to use your magic power. I swore an oath in Ambrosia's grave, Frick. But why won't you use the Master Mab? Because Mab wants me to. You will in the end, you know. You're half human. She's a terrible enemy, Master Mab. And a very poor employer. Well, I mean, I could tell you stories. But enough of my problems. <laughs> Is you, Merlin? What are you doing here? I'm a hostage. Vortigan wants to make sure that my father doesn't join Prince Uther. Why was he going to? No, but he doesn't trust anybody. It's dangerous being near him. No one knows who he'll strike down next. Seems I said the wrong thing. I told him Uther would defeat him. You're right. <laughs> what is the matter? Are you ill? No, no, it's just I, I need space to breathe. These four walls are suffocating me. Never way. <laughs> I've never forgotten you all these years. I've always remembered you, Merlin. Uther has captured Winchester. He's unstoppable. 
I'll stop it. I didn't send for you. That's why I'm here. I've killed men for such insolence. And women? And children. <laughs> I'm trembling. What makes you so brave, woman? Knowing that if you hurt me, my father and his men will join Uther. All right. You're here now, so what is it you want? Merlin, the wizard, is sick. Get him a physician. There is no cure, but his freedom. I can't give him that. Well, then he'll die. We all die, eventually. Even wizards. But if he does, you will not know about the battle. He has had another vision. Don't you want to know how to win? I now have the strongest army Britain has ever seen. It may not be enough, Your Majesty. Uther and his men follow the Christian way. I thought they didn't believe in killing. Oh, they'll kill in a holy cause. And destroying you is a holy cause. How convenient they kill when it suits them. Like the rest of us, sire. When will he attack? Not before the spring. Good. We'll use Winter as our ally. We'll take him by surprise. Merlin, I need your help. How are you? I know I've been a little hot-tempered. Patience is not one of my virtues. Well, you have so few of those, I wouldn't concern myself about that one too much, sire. How can I help you? Can Uther be defeated? I dreamed a battle near Winchester. I couldn't see how it ended. I was too weak. Dream it again. I want to know who wins. And I want fresh air and light. Without them, I cannot dream dreams, see visions. Is that all? Way over there, beyond those hills, is an island called Avalon. Joseph of Arimathea came there from Jerusalem with the Holy Grail, the cup our Lord Jesus Christ used at the Holy Supper. It has the power to feed the hungry and heal the sick. But the Holy Grail was lost to us. Many men search for it, but no one has ever seen it since. But one day, a man with a pure heart will find it, and peace and happiness will return. It's a lovely story. And so are you. Oh, they hurt memories. Memories of love, they hurt. Our world was tearing itself to pieces, and I didn't care. Those were truly the happiest days of my life. Are you really a wizard? A hand wizard. You mean there's magic in hands? Oh, yes. Well, for one thing, hands can say so much more than words. They can um, welcome, beg, pray. They can, hands can even. So we could keep everything as simple as the 
roundness of the moon. Look at its simplicity, my boy. Everything equal, no part more important than the rest. I thought you weren't going to do any magic. Oh, that wasn't magic. Magic is real. That was just a trick. you here, madam? I can tell you how to defeat Uther. What will this alliance cost me? There's a price to everything. The wizard, Merlin. I want him. He is too valuable to me. He sees things. He has visions. Anyone can have visions. Don't you see visions? Don't you see yourself winning? Yes. But I don't see why you would want to help me. I would rather see you on the throne than Uther. But I don't believe in your old ways. You. You don't believe in anything. I believe in me. That's not enough to make us win. Understand. Uther will bring Christianity to the people, and that'll be the end of you. All right. I'll give you the wisdom. So tell me, how do I defeat Uther? Sacrifice him away to the great dragon. That's not so easy. Ethics? Politics. <sighs> I can't do that. She's my hostage. It keeps her father loyal to me. Urgent news, Your Majesty. Lord Ardent has defected. He's joined Prince Uther. How convenient, madam. For both of us. The girl dies. Let Melon watch.
Like Joseph of Arimathea, I went to Avalon. Not with the Holy Grail, but with something much more precious to me. Sisters! Whilst the monks prayed and I thought of revenge, the nuns were more practical. They used their knowledge of ancient herbs and potions to try and save my only love. Oh, Merlin, she is very badly wounded. The sisters are doing all they can, but you must pray with us. Why should I pray to your God if he is going to take her from me? But this is not God's work. You're right, it isn't. Do you know who did it? Oh, yes, I know. destroyed everyone I love. My mother, Ambrosia, and now Nimue. The end justifies the means. I did it for you. I want you to use the power in you. Rise up, dear, dear Merlin, and be great. No, Mab. I'll destroy you for what you've done to me. You can't, Merlin. I'll always be too strong. Find a way. I will find a way! Never. Not ever. Just don't try to speak. Save your strength. Don't. Don't turn your face to the wall. My lady, of the lake. My lady of the lake, it is I, Merlin. I need help. Vortigan. He's Mab's ally and a tyrant. Good king, bad king. You judge too easily, Merlin. You'll learn. I 
I give you Excalibur. the sword song and it was beautiful now armed with the sword of the just I was going to face another dragon a red one it was Uther's crest and I was about to make it supreme if he'd let me You're welcome to Winchester Castle, Merlin. Oh, are you Merlin the wizard? Wizard? <laughs> We're Christians here, sir. We don't believe in your blasphemy. Well, that's your choice, sir. But pagan or Christian, I hope you believe in fresh news. Well, is it good or bad? That depends how you use it. Vortigern will attack you within days. <laughs> Look, no one fights in winter. It isn't done. Rules of war. We fight in summer. We rest in winter. Vortigern isn't interested in rules and traditions. He wants to win. And if circumstances were different, I would favor him. His army's already on the march. Take it or leave it. Why are you telling me this? Vortigern. Is the friend of my enemy, Mab. So my enemy's enemy is my friend. And besides, I've already seen the red dragon defeat the white. And I think that you might make a fair to decent king. Oh, you think so, do you? King Constant wasn't. You'd have to do a lot better than your father. But I offer you my services as a wizard. Merlin, I owe you an apology. You were right about Vortigern. What a fool to fight in winter. Perhaps I was the fool, thinking the winter would make me safe. But we'll be ready for him now. We must choose our battleground, sire. Here. We fight him here. You mean by the river? On it. He has to come down here through the pass and cross on his way to Winchester. Luther, this is where you meet Vortigern and crush him. Madam. Uther knows you're going to attack. He's waiting for you. I wonder who told him I was coming. Merlin? Dragon didn't kill him. What about the girl? She's alive. So much for your magic. It doesn't matter. I never believed in it anyway. You're a very brave man, Vortigern. But so stupid. You have to believe in something now. Like what? I've been king for 20 years. I've never been defeated. I didn't use any magic. I did it with my bare hands. Oh, 
God again. It's your pride. Your pride condemns you. Dente, the traitor who changed sides. Loose! I wish I could. to use some of your magic on me, Merlin. I'll kill you any way I can, Vortigan. But I will kill you. shed for Vortigan, and his pride had cast it away. He paid for it with his life. That is a mighty sword. It is Excalibur. It can only be used by a good man in a good cause. I understand. I 
I thought I could now spend time with Nimue. I thought Uther would be a good king, and so help defeat man. But I was never a good judge of men. I always expected too much of them. Your Majesty, may I present my wife, the Lady Egren? And my daughter. You are welcome to Pendragon, my lady. And you? Morgan Fair, Your Majesty. Cornwall, would you permit me to dance with your lady after the feast? If your majesty pleases. Oh, yes, yes. It will please his majesty very much. Merlin. Uther. Ukraine. She's beautiful, isn't she? Beautiful and somebody else's wife, but still beautiful. What does the rest matter? So they say. Do some magic for me. If you wash behind your ears. Mm hmm. That's not real magic. It's a trick. Anyone can do it. Hmm. All right, you do it then. <sighs> there, you see? I did it. You're right. Anyone could do it. Morgan, come on. He hardly had the crown on his head before it began all over again. I decided to leave and let them stew in their own juices. Merlin! May I ride with you? Of course. I believe in you, Merlin. And I knew Uther. How great is your power? Can you make a woman love me? <laughs> Magic can't create love. Could you kill her husband? Igraine, I want her, Merlin, more than I've ever wanted anything in the world. Well, you can't have her. Do you know what love is? <laughs> yes, Ruth, I sad to say I know what love is. Give me a grain. She's not mine to give. Then I'll take her. Even if it means war. It will. So be it. I have Excalibur. <laughs> Very well. Give me the sword. I shall make a spell. Where did you get it? A gift from the Lady of the Lake. She has been a friend of mine 
since before the dawn of time. <laughs> if I can remember that, it means that I'm an old man. <laughs> I ask you to hold Excalibur for me until a good man comes to take it from you. Then I will be holding it forever. If not longer. <laughs> You trick me, Merlin. Come, come, Uther. I'm a wizard. That's my business. The sword is yours if you can take it. <sighs> Merlin? Where are you, Merlin? It's Avalon. Journey's end, Sir Rupert. I certainly hope so. <sighs> you know, we're not as young as we used to. <laughs> quite, quite. Come on, old friend. I'm not ready for you to see me. That may be the judge of that. Is too strong. Leave this place and come with me. I'm, I'm not ready to face the world. When will you be ready? I don't know. Three months siege and we still haven't taken it. There's no way across the causeway, sire. My advice to you is give it up. It's madness. I must have a grain. As one who's been to Colchester, sire, as one who knows a few things, I have to tell you that the kingdom is falling apart whilst we tear ourselves to pieces. If this was for money or love or power, I could understand it. But all this for Cornwall's wife? You were born old, Boris. You've never known what it is to lust after a woman. I've spent all my life fighting. Bloody days and cold nights with a naked sword as my bedfellow. You'll never take it in tangible. <laughs> Hundreds are dead because you have an itch. Will you help cure me of that itch? You've lost your reputation, Ilse. And reputations like glass, once cracked, can never be repaired. Will you help me? I don't know you anymore. You've become an Ouroboros. You'll devour the world in your lust. Will you help me? Yes, I'll help you. I have to be mad to stop this madness. What will it cost me? You will have the Lady of Grey. There will be a child, a boy. I've seen him, Uther. He's mine. What will you do with him? Teach him honor and goodness. Well, I can do that. Honor and goodness, the words stick in your throat. You choke on them just as you're choking your vomit in the end. Very well. <laughs> I agree. And once more. Cornwall will not be harmed. Not by me. Now break camp. Withdraw your army now in daylight while Cornwall can see you. 
Uther's breaking camp. We'll follow him. Don't leave, my lord. Why not? I have a feeling that's... The castle's well guarded. You'll be safe, my lord. Look after your mother, eh, Morgan? I will, father. You only have until the morning. The night is your friend. Use it. <laughs> you don't approve. Well, of course I don't approve. The end justifies the means, Sir Rupert. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> His Lordship Cornwall approaches! Open the gates! Open the gates! His Lordship returns! So soon, my lord. Yes. Yes. Uther's really gone. Mother! My place is here with you. Mother, that's... Time for you to go to bed, little girl, huh? Let me go! No, not, not another word. But I didn't say goodnight. Uther had betrayed me, killed Cornwall. But then I'd betrayed Igraine by helping Uther seduce her. So the wheel of life turns, one betrayal leads to another and another. The innocent die. It haunted me for the rest of my life. <laughs> stories, so you'll be remembered. Yeah, you don't need to do that. I'll not be forgotten. Well... Well... For us, things are going rather well for us. I'm going to make sure... Hello, Morgan. for a gnome, aren't you? Well, as a matter of fact, gnomes do indeed come in all shapes and sizes. I'm the tall kind. Can you do magic? Of course. Watch. Ah, beautiful lady. I'm at your service. Your wish <laughs> is my command. <laughs> Watch me slash a <laughs> <laughs> That's real magic, not Twix. Will you teach me how to do that? I certainly shall. If you do something for me, <laughs> your new baby brother will be born soon. How terribly exciting, don't you think? He's not my real brother. The man who made him wasn't my real father. Well, I mean, that's clever, Morgan. Mm -hmm. You make a wonderful pupil for the fantastic things I can teach you. 
What do you want me to do? Just put the stone in the baby's crib. I'll see you fade into nothing! 